Hey, 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 it's Ashley here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing how I transformed these two beautiful end tables. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I did was I took this apart and I just started to sand everything down. It was just easier to disassemble this to get into all the areas that I needed to sand down. So there's there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sanding going on here. I'm just using my surf prep sander um, to get this done with an 80 grit. All right, so next I just used the brush wheel attachment and I added it to my drill. And then I'm just gonna get into this little, um, these, this little groove area that I couldn't really get um, in well. And I'm just using my brush wheel to clean up that space. So next I started to sand everything else. So literally everything got sanded except for the top of the table. So everything below the table and then the little um, table that it has underneath the bottom um, did not get sanded, but everything else did. Okay, so next I started working on the tabletop. Now we're back at the regular horizontal um, screen because the other ones were vertical and that came from a short that I did. So if you don't follow my shorts channel, you can go over there and Follow me over there so that you can see all these projects because literally I show all the project projects over there before I do a full video or you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook. Everything's the same. So anyways, I'm now putting this spackle on there. Um, I'm just caking it up on there and removing it so that it can get into uh, the, the grain, the crevices, the grooves, whatever you want to call it, because actually this top was um, just like a thin layer of veneer, and so it had kind of like some of the grain, so I just needed to fill it in so it'd be nice and smooth. So after I did the top of the table, I did the bottom portion of the table, so the little small um, table part that I took off from the legs. Um, so I sanded that down too, and then I did the same thing, took the dab, put it on there, and I let it dry. Everything was nice and dry I went ahead and I sanded off the dap and that's what it looks like and now I'm just rolling on the paint so the paint that I'm using is fusion and the color is Algonquin so I really like this color um, the video footage doesn't really give the color its full potential but in person this color is amazing it's a really nice neutral color so yeah, I'm just going around getting all the areas that is gonna be painted. So like I said, that is going to be the top. And so as you can see, I have already taped off my sides. So of course, it'll be easy for me to just go ahead and roll on that paint on the side. So I did do two coats of this. So once that first coat dried, I just uh, sanded over it with 220 grit. And then I'm coming back in and I'm putting another coat on there. So just rolling it on and then I let all of this dry. After everything was dry, I'm just coming in with a 400 grit and I'm gonna go ahead and sand this down. So I did end up, um, when I did the bottom table, doing the 221st, then the 400, because I really had to do a lot of um, sanding with the 400 to get it like really, really smooth. So in that case, you could just start with the 220 and then go ahead and go to your finer grit, which is that 400. So one thing I realized is I was literally, like I said in the beginning, was doing a lot of sanding with this piece, okay? So now I am taking the other pieces that I sanded down to the raw wood and I am just going in with that 400 grit and I'm sanding everything nice and smooth. And when I tell you these were nice and smooth, they were so buttery smooth. The next thing I did, of course, was I removed my painter's tape. So the painter's tape that I like to use um, is the Sharp Lines. So if you don't use, um, you can also use the other tape. I can't think of the name right now, but it's green. But I use that tape too, the Frog Tape. But um, you can also use the Sharp Lines tape, which is really good as well. So anyways, now I'm just taking my Easy Peasy Wax. You guys know I like to use this because it's really Easy Peasy, for real. So I'm just putting that on there, spraying it on, and then I'm gonna start to rub it out so like when you first put this on your piece you can start to see like little droplets but don't worry because once you really buff it out it'll be nice and smooth and I did two coats of this 
So now what I'm doing is I'm buffing it out. So I like to use this buffer. It's really easy to use and it makes your stuff like just nice and smooth. Of course, the next step was going ahead and putting everything back together. So again, if you are taking things apart, you're gonna wanna make sure that you're putting them in like plastic baggies and stuff like that so you'll know where everything goes. You can also take a picture if you're doing a video, that's even better because you can go back and see where everything goes. So after that, um, all I did was I did a second buffing and that was it. All right, and that is it. That is how these tables turn out. Again, the lighting is really sucky because these is just a little bit off but these tables are amazing they are in our living room i absolutely love them it took a lot of work with a lot of sanding but i love how these turned out i love the color i also did seal the legs with some um of that wax as well but yeah that was it i love how these turned out i hope you guys do too as always make sure you comment down below let me know what you think and i will see you guys in my next one bye